let me just remind the viewers and listeners that we also work where we film this podcast and we've been here all day <laughs> it's a long day how you feeling though i'm here <laughs> we're here we're grinding consistency man on the ground every week every week there you go. every wednesday every wednesday what's good everybody this is short king's talk episode 28 this is a uh, my uh, birthday <laughs> episode <laughs> not birthday but i was born on the 28th so just letting y'all know uh if you haven't yet please subscribe to our youtube channel as well as follow us on all social media platforms at short king's talk everything links are in the description below and if you're already subscribed and you're listening and you're consistent, hey, we'd like to thank y'all. You know, we appreciate the support. We're still going since July 2023, and now it's the second week of 2024. So, yeah, it's been good. Yeah. All right. So what are we going to talk about? This is a, <laughs> <laughs> this is this a is long your idea, This man. is a long requested episode. We're going to talk about feelings. Let me say this, though. Yeah. Uh, last week, you titled our episode Degenerative Degener- uh, dege- degenerate yeah degenerate? Yeah. yeah degenerative uh, activities yeah. i feel like what we talked about wasn't as degenerative <laughs> except for you know i guess lurking on thirst traps and porn but other than that i think it was pretty yeah but the, <laughs> tame. when i was look doing the timestamp the whole like 25 minutes was on that segment yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true it was a pretty good ep so if you haven't hey, got the clicks yeah if you the haven't watched yeah. uh episode Last 27 week, go back, go back, yeah go back we talk about the seven deadly sins and the vices. Yeah. So we're talking about feelings. Yeah. So this is a like the <laughs> highly requested it, episode from it ladies. It honestly is because as men, right, we're not really allowed to. Sh- we're, we're not. I wouldn't say allowed. But yeah. We're not encouraged to share feelings. Right. Right. Even or though to be like completely vulnerable, like there's a, a level of masculinity. Right. Like they'll, they'll tell you one like girls would be like, oh, like, you know, we want like to hear you talk about that stuff and then when Mm -hmm. you do it they kind of judge you you know no i don't think so my thing is it's not specific when uh they say they talk they want to talk about feelings Mm -hmm. but then they pick topics that are very general Mm -hmm. where i don't think we can talk about that for a whole hour right 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 right? or i mean just like in general when girls are like you guys should open up more and Mm -hmm. be more vulnerable but i feel like once people once men do do that Mm -hmm. they get judged they're like oh he's kind of like a weenie i feel like i am though i'm pretty transparent (laughs) as a person like i'll just say everything as it is like whatever's in my mind if i feel something then you you don't ever like hold your tongue i mean yeah if yeah if i'm pissed again like what we said last episode if i'm pissed like you know i don't want to regret saying something uh but i'm always very retrospective with what i say right so there's that and then at the same time yeah i don't have an issue talking about my feelings but yeah there is a sense of pride that i have where i feel like i still need to uphold a level of manhood you know <laughs> what won't you talk about to a girl oh what won't i yeah, talk about like the absolute like nope you're gonna take that to the grave uh nothing really, nothing? really? yeah i thought about this because uh because i'm single and obviously like eventually you know i'll get into a relationship like i don't think i'll hold anything back like if she asks me any questions i'll answer to the my full fullest ability right like what what do you think is something that i would or that you would just hold back and you're just gonna take it to the grave uh if it's anything if like (laughs) if like my homie's girlfriend asked me some shit about what he did i have no idea no i am blind that's different (laughs) That's different. <laughs> How's that different, bro? That's, that's, uh, call okay. me, call uh, me Stevie Wonder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it five a.m. or five p.m.? <laughs> yeah. No, I thought it meant like, oh, like personal, on, personal oh. to you. Yeah, when, when you're looking out for the homie, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you course. mean like stuff about? Because I've him. done yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've done that where like a homie cheated, but then I knew that he was gonna tell his girl. Yeah. So it wasn't my place to yeah, just exactly. say something. Yeah, yeah. and not to say that. Yeah, if so something like that happens. Yeah. Yep. I didn't see anything. <laughs> I feel like, or what about like parents infidelity? Would you tell your mom? Oh, like, hell dad, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Or anyone. Yeah. I'll, I'll try. Uh, if I know any like parental like figure, even if it's not my own parents, if I know that there's any type of yeah. like cheating scenario, yeah, I would have to say it, Like something. immediately, just like. I wouldn't be immediate. I would try to find the best way to talk about it. Mm. But you kind of know like the, the outcome of like what yeah. you're about to say in motion right but you're yeah. so okay with it you're like yeah yeah this is a crazy story one of my clients 
uh, told me the story. So he did that 23 of me or ancestry, I think. Right. Yeah. Where DNA test thing. Right. You just find out about that. So he did it. And then he told his friend about it and his friend did it. And his friend thought it was really cool. So his friend uh, got his family to do it. And turns out that his dad had like a second family. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what? Were they related somewhat? Kind of? Or no? I guess you could say like what? Half siblings and oh, stuff? Oh, shit. Like that. Like that type of second Damn. family. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Like probably had a sneaky link years ago. And then That's just wild. like on the So low. they just compared their data and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Same name and everything. Yeah. Oh, why? I was like, what? That's crazy. Yeah. That would, that'd be wild though. That yeah. Would be, yeah. Yeah. If you were if you, if you were a second family of our friend, <laughs> you'd be chilling. Oh, dude, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be li- I wouldn't even be here, yeah. dog. What if the heck, this. dude? I'd be like in Macau, just like, gambling <laughs> away, dog. Like, what's good with it? <laughs> yeah, but okay, but yeah. So I think there's a societal expectation of men to like uphold a certain there is you know level of, like you said masculinity, right? Yeah, and a lot. I feel like to uphold that standard you have mm-hmm. to hide certain things like you can't cry right. about every little thing even though you know yeah, yeah. all like the minute sensitivity yeah you know you like you, I, mean, I mean so i guess when you say you're gonna share it's like the bit you're talking about the big things right not like like every tiny thing that irks you you could be like oh so yeah okay so that's something i always i guess bite my tongue yeah. about is if i'm annoyed by something or something irks me I usually almost never say something. There you go. That's what I was trying yeah, to get. So, at. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's really like the biggest thing because I again I always think retrospectively, and then maybe I always think maybe I'm overthinking or maybe I'm not being rational enough to right. voice my my opinion. Uh, do you have any girlfriends that are, they that think that kind of behavior is like they call it a toxic masculinity? I think we talked about it like way back, right? When they're like you know that just like the fact that you're hiding your emotions and then you're like oh. putting up a front it's like very toxic i don't think mind. they call it toxic masculinity they look at it as more as you're just not being as open or vulnerable mm-hmm. enough to share you know like because it's all about like a connection for them so if you're not opening up or you're not being very direct about your feelings then they think that you're closing them off that you're setting up this wall for them to like not connect with you a lot more right right because for me i think a lot of conversations to- toxic masculinity just associates with being a fuck boy like misogynistic you hate yeah. women that kind of shit right? yeah. yeah yeah play that mind game you know listen to a little too much drake and, <laughs> drake and, and, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drake <laughs> <laughs> every single flow <laughs> bar for bar what was that one was that one disney movie where they talk about all the emotions was it oh, fuck do with the yeah, I know what you're talking like, about. They're all little people represent right. oh, God, Inside I, Out. Okay, there is you that go. Is it Disney? Is it Pixar? One of those. I think it's a Disney movie. I mean, aren't Pixar and Disney are synonymous right? with each other? Yeah. Disney. Oh, it's Disney Pixar. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's crazy. I we like don't, how, we I, don't watch a lot of kids' shows, no, so we, it's hard for not. us to. You know what? I haven't watched any Disney movies since. Fuck, what's that? The one with the Viet girl, Raya? Is that the where the she dragon? turns into a no? Oh, that the, one. That one was over three years ago. I thought you were talking about the red panda one. Oh no no, I, I skipped that. Yeah, I, I skipped like the Mexican one too. Was it Encanto or something? I thought you thought like Coco. Is it Coco? I I, I think Coco's guess. DreamWorks. Is I it? don't know. But yeah. anyway, all those movies like post pandemic, yeah, just never appealed to me. I think the only one I watched recently was Sold Out. I think that's what it's called. But only because Jamie Foxx was the voice of the main character. So that I even I didn't even see. Post I thought it was that. okay, but that was just my opinion. But yeah, I don't keep up with anything I Disney see, anymore. See. Yeah, I, li- I like how in that movie they kind of portrayed all the different emotions and then right. how they interact. So mm-hmm. my next question is, as far as like controlling your emotions, right, and not okay. having outbursts and stuff like that. Do you have one that you struggle with? Like you know, in terms of like anger, your like definitely fear. not anger. No. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not that. We can go to you later. <laughs> uh, yeah, th- uh, let's see. Anger, definitely not that. Jealousy, no. Sadness is one of them. Sad? No, I'm really not that sad. You don't get in your feels. Yeah, <laughs> like, no. I would say I would. I would hide my stress. Your stress? Yeah, if I'm stressing about something. So fear something. then, not fear. Like uh, of the five like main emotions, right? It's like is this. that fear though? Like when you're stressed? Well, I mean, like if you're categorizing because it. Because I in, tell people my fears. Yeah. Like I don't 
fuck with scary movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other choice is disgust. So I'm talking about in the sense of the Ooh. movie, right? Like there, there's joy, there's okay. sadness, there's anger, fear, and disgust. Oh, my disgust. Yeah, yes. I, 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 okay. I, I, I <laughs> judge internally a lot. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, we talked about this. My my biggest judgment with people, like with friends or strangers, is posture. Right. Po- I'm so like fixated on posture, <laughs> just because of the longevity value of it, yeah. that it just bothers the fuck out of me if someone has bad posture, just, like terrible posture. Yeah, and a lot of people, you know, protrude your shoulders, forward head, like, like all the way, like yeah. condor and jet. Yep, you <laughs> yeah. already, you already know, bro. That the worst one is uh, whatever you want the pigeon walk. Yeah. That's the worst yeah. one. When you walk like this, don't walk like that, because you're not using your legs. So, uh, of all of those, which one do you, would you say like you have the most trouble kind of keeping under wraps? I know it's not angry. I wouldn't say like, I wouldn't say it's trouble, but I would say I guess disgust and I guess if fear is associated with stress, and yeah. I guess that is also something that I keep under wraps. Like you have trouble keeping under. Wraps. I don't keep. I don't have trouble, but I just keep it. Just, it. it. It takes more of effort than like. I guess I don't know. No. Yeah, it's easy for me to not talk about something. Okay. Right. So that's it. What about you, Mister Angry Boy? <laughs> <laughs> it's anger. <laughs> I'm just yeah. mad all the time. Yeah. I feel like I don't share good news with people ever. Oh. That's what. That's dude. one I have trouble expressing. I I agree with that. Yeah. I'm a little bit of the same yeah, thing. I'm, like I never do. I just feel like it's it happens. Right? Yeah. I just don't want to come off as braggadocious sometimes. That's one. Yeah. That's one, right? Yeah. Where I feel I just don't want to up my achievements in that way. Yeah. But then whenever someone does something almost similar, then I'm hella hyped. Yeah. About You're the like, person. Oh, shit. Let's go. Right. But yeah. You, you kind of keep your own achievements. Not even achievement. Just like stuff that. Yeah. Good stuff that's happening to you. Like I'm very whatever about like where my PRs are with my list. Yeah. Whenever it's like, oh, dude, you're so strong. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then if someone has, what, a 405 deadlift, I get super hyped, yeah. especially if it's someone I know, mm-hmm. then I get really happy. And if it's with really, really good form, yeah. then I'm extremely <laughs> happy. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the same way with uh, a lot of people went through like high school graduation. You didn't go to for, high? <laughs> no, I went. I'm seeing like celebrating oh. it. Because oh. for me, it felt like it was just a natural step of the process like right you gotta you gotta be really special to not get see the thing is like it was special to me because i also watched high school musical three (laughs) senior year okay so okay another you know what movie came out my senior year toy story three okay and that's when andy graduated and moved on to Uh college so it was like a whole thing (laughs) dude me and like hello homies like filled up a whole row Man, dude, that hey, that lava scene, whatever, dude, that <laughs> struck a chord to all of us. So we're like, oh man, this is the end. But I feel like it's really common in the Asians, where you know, high school graduation is not seen as anything. It's just like you're supposed to graduate. High school. Yeah, like, what's you're wrong supposed with to you? go to college? college yeah, yeah. And then, like so, I mean, the college is a little bit more of that, where mm-hmm. you know, people are like more proud of their achievement but like right. for high school like i think across the board it's like, given it's a given like yeah. you're supposed to do that shit yeah you're know? not supposed to fail you're not supposed school. exactly you know okay so i think that's that's what that's like growing up as an asian that's mm. so you ingrained. were whatever about graduating high school or yeah, it's just it's just part of the process okay. right like and then you move on to yeah. you know whatever. i think for me my parents like celebrated every time i graduated so okay it was okay. always a thing yeah nice same with like other friends so i'll celebrate one. that's fine yeah, yeah i guess like well your first you're not for, your moms are a Ophthalmologist, right? Optometrist? Optometrist. Yeah. yeah. So you're not you're not a first gen <laughs> like high school grad. No. <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude. Yeah. My my dad surpassed me. Yeah. yeah. He has two masters. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have an associate. So, so I think that's that's the only exception is when you're like mm-hmm. you're a first gen. Or like you know, uh-huh. like you're first generation immigrant and then like your parents yeah. are like not from the States. Yeah. And yeah. Then they they put a little bit more emphasis on that, but Right, right, right. I've seen like some of them white people get like cars and shit for graduation you know i'm like oh i never got that no. well i did get a car at 16 though so i'm fortunate yeah okay that. yeah, yeah. But, like just like celebrating it like hella yeah. hard yeah. shout out shout out the two no i celebrated hard yeah. shout out the 2000 camry man <laughs> i know exactly how, how many miles did that shit run before it died i think like a hundred and something something it was my fault it broke anyways because i uh i ripped the tube out of uh because it didn't pass smog and it's like if you just replace this stu- tube it'll be good and then i just <laughs> you just yanked it out, out of the engine bay and then it costed way more just oh to, my god yeah so that was my bad 
it's all good but when i got my car dude, I, I for sure celebrated that i remember exactly what happened i got my license in the morning and then i went bowling with my brother and my dad and then i drove and then i pulled up to my friend's house and then he lives in like this kind of like very very small like island circle type situation in the neighborhood and for the entire song of i eat the pussy by sonar I blasted it hella loud in the car, windows down, just circling this little <laughs> island. <laughs> and then after it, we went to go watch Transformers Dark of the Moon. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was a lit-ass yeah. day. <laughs> oh, man. So that that's that's you expressing your joy. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. I'm very expressive with that. I'm all about yeah. being happy, dude. Being happy is a, a dope feeling. Yeah, you ever get you ever you or not? You, you do you know those people that like they're happy for you only if you're like beneath them, but like once you pass them a little bit, they get a little bit like not jealous. But one of my just, old roommates was like yeah. that. Um, I don't know anyone specifically that comes to mind that are like that. Mm. Yeah, my friend groups are we're, we're all pretty chill. Chill, yeah, yeah, yeah. we all kind of like, like support. Oh, each I'm other. so happy for you, and then like once you pass them, and then they they stop being no. as happy. Do you know anyone like that? Not anymore. I oh, cut them off. Like that's, yeah, because oh. like, hey, friends don't cheer for you like yeah. all the time, and you know why even have them around. That's a very toxic trait, though. It is. Yeah, because like you know they they just want to not one up, but they yeah. they just want to be always be better. So yeah. you're doing a little bit more. Than but I do like, know people who are just naturally braggadocious. Like they just want to mention everything what, that they yeah, do. Their yeah, 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 yeah. Which which is fine. Right? Yeah, I which just, is cool. But I think when it's done too much. Yeah, like that's your personality. You just talk about like, yeah, yeah. I just got this promotion, or yeah. I did this. Someone did else this. comes in like, oh yeah, how much you making? Oh, that's it. Like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yo, get out, hey, <laughs> get out. Hey, gross or net? Like, <laughs> gross or, what's it after taxes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. I got, nah, I got a lot of write-offs. <laughs> that hurt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the world don't need to know man so okay so you you shared your like your joy one of the joyous moments when you got your car right uh-huh what about like what was one time you got really sad oh i had a conversation with a friend uh last year because i don't know for you know how girls sometimes they, they just say like they like a good cry yeah, i don't know if I, you, yeah i guess <laughs> yeah yeah you know, like because it's whatever exudes yeah. emotions and stuff. And then they asked me once the last time I was genuinely sad or I cried. And I think the last time was when my dog died. Mm. So 2018. Okay, dude, that broke my whole family. Yeah. yeah so I guess that's, that's common for guys when they're yeah. dogs. Yeah. But I've never. Well, what do you, what would I get sad on some Monday stuff? Like if I don't get invited or something, I don't get sad on no, that. No, I mean that's yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that that was the last time I was like genuinely like just sad. sad like, yeah. Just, like, what about Your you? Days were, yeah, same when my dog died. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? I think it's 2018 too. Shit. Really? Yeah. October 2018? No, not October. I think oh, it was okay. like July or something like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah dude. That that hit. And I was, uh, I was back in Stockton when like, she passed. Yeah, oh, dude, so, so, so you the were whole there. family was oh, there. Yeah, I yeah, no, yeah. I was I was in San Diego. Oh, so and then your dog I was had, here in LA. Yeah, yeah. And then like, um, my girlfriend at the time actually had to put my dog down. What do you mean, like? Because she was she was the one that went to the vet. Because like my dog was like vomiting like bile. Oh. And they took her to the vet, and then um, the vet was like, "Nah, like you got, like, you got to yeah, 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 dang." Yeah. So then like she Facetime. I was in class. She Facetime me, and I was like, "Fuck!" So, I was, I was just, did you ditch class, or did you like? Did you just? Nah, suck I it left. Up? I left, but she yeah 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 and then, yeah. And then she yeah she liked to put her down. Oh man, dude, that's tough. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I think, I think like, that was the only time, but like for. For me, when people pass, I don't really get that sad. It's this, it's a different kind of. I think sad. it depends on the person, mm-hmm. but for me, I, I've noticed um, the times that my grandparents passed, uh, it was a delayed sadness. Maybe because I don't want to just show like myself crying like in, in front, front of, of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I remember two counts like when uh, both my Lolo and Lola passed, like. Uh, one, I, uh, stopped on the side of the road in my car and then I broke down. And then the other time I cried in the shower, mm, but that was yeah. at, like a while. It was after. like, at, no, like it was like couple moments days. after. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like same day, but like moments after Not like, like a the, couple weeks, after. the news. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. But yeah, I think when it, I think it, it depends. It, it's, does it feel different? Cause it's like for me, like when the dog passes, right. It feels mm-hmm. like for a dog, they don't really 
you you wouldn't say like oh like they they lived a I mean you could say your dog lived a good life right my dog lived a hell of a good life yeah yeah but it's just like for, I feel like for people like it's like you kind of celebrate their life right because they've done certain yeah. things so yeah. you're human right you could yeah, yeah. You, you know you have the achievements and stuff or for they a dog, live a long life yeah for yeah. a dog it's just like they just kind of they're like your friend and then yeah they die right forever so, you're a companion yeah right? but they it's not like oh my dog went to college <laughs> <You> <laughs> or something know. like that right you never know so I, I feel like for people I'm like oh they they pass but they got yeah. to do what they wanted to do right yeah and then for a dog is i think it just depends on the connection you have with that friend or family member mm-hmm. because i know a good amount of people from my high school from my city that passed away on some like younger people right yeah yeah, 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 yeah. okay on some like x uh reasons right yeah where like i i would just say like damn that sucks but i wouldn't i'd be uh, empathetic but yeah. i wouldn't personally be sad yeah, like, yeah. Oh, man, it wouldn't just, crush you right you're yeah just yeah like, you're just like that's a waste of life right okay yeah i'm, I'm gonna transition this like you know aside from friends or family like if you haven't really been sad on that have you ever been sad on a celebrity passing no like when kobe passed no that yeah that i was kind of angry about because people call it work and I had really? to take a, yeah, like everyone called out of work that day. Whoa. And then I had to kind of pick up their slack. It just felt irresponsible for me. Right, right, right. Because you have a, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, I understand you're a Kobe fan or whatever. Yeah. But like you have a job to do. Yeah. In healthcare. Like, I, was, yeah. I was sad, but it was, it didn't struck a chord with me as uh, as much as, yeah, my LA native friends. Yeah. Yeah. I had two homies like just text like, dude, like. Dude, bro, Kobe, and then yeah. I just woke up. I'm like, I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. I feel like it was more like confusion because when right. he died, and then people were speculating well, who else was on the helicopter. Yeah, and oh, the Shaq died too. Like the like Magic. Yeah. Died. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like that it automatically um, became some type of like Illuminati conspiracy. Mm. Yeah, over the passing. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah I didn't like that. <laughs> But yeah, no. What about you, celebrity wise? For me, none. I want to say there was two that I I I wasn't super sad, but I actually felt something yeah. like in me, right? I would guess like one would be Robin Williams because mm. I grew up on Ro- yeah, Robin yeah, Williams, yeah, right? Yeah. So uh, that was crazy. And then two was this pro skater named Dylan Reader, and he actually passed at the City of Hope Hospital because oh, he passed of uh, leukemia. Cancer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Got it, got it. yeah, and that was like 2014, 15. I see. Yeah, that that's. That's more of those, like, what well, a waste of talent. Thing, right, right, yeah. Okay. Or he died so young. I think he was, like, 27, 28. Uh, yeah, I so see. it was, like, one of that. So yeah. okay. But, but, like, what about but when, common uh, sadness, yeah. like, when you're just, like, sad about, like, some stuff. Like, does that ever happen to you? About celebrities or just in general? No, no. I don't. I, I think a death would be very extreme. But, yeah. for example, yeah, if you don't get invited to nah, not really. a festival. Not really. I don't know. I can't think of anything else that you'd be sad, sad about. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe. Like, if they lose my expensive uh item during shipping i'd be pretty i, I get more angry actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I was pissed i was oh uh, yeah how about when you was it that you lost your bracelet oh yeah it? during no i was more angry okay yeah it's just more so angry. It's angry i'm looking like mad at myself like why why the hell did i get so fucked up right that i lost my bracelet yeah, yeah. i will say this though with sadness so i don't get personally sad this is like a weird thing my eyes are naturally empathetic and then some wow, of my homegirls know so the, cast, no 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 no, 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 dude i swear i swear i cannot look at a person crying i can't make eye contact dude it's not me it's not me it's my eyes dude they just start watering i swear my cousin has it worse my cousin my cousin has you you have it way worse than me because uh during my parents's uh wedding anniversary my dad was trying to sing to my mom and he was just breaking down just emotional yeah. and then i was sitting there just like oh this is so sweet i turned to the left to my cousin and she was like <laughs> <laughs> i'm like you weenie ass cuz it's kind of like when you when you see people throw up and you're like you get the urge to throw up too kind of like that it's like reflexive not re- right not no? really but my body is reflexive with blood <laughs> so uh, okay throw up's not not too crazy to me okay yeah I think if I smell something hella bad, oh, yeah. oh dude, that's uh, like some of the bo in here. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, dude, so, someone needs to be in quarantine, bro. Like <laughs> sometimes you, it's like <laughs> I feel like the that one dude in SpongeBob, the not at all boy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> it really oh, feels yeah, like that. Uh, no, it's bad. He it's... tries to contain it in a long sleeve and no, a hoodie. It doesn't come and it doesn't work. He leaves a he leaves a fucking chem trail, dude. Oh my <laughs> oh, god, man. it's it's really bad. But no, not well, well. TV shows like getting sad. Yeah, like crying. Have you ever cried during a movie? No, no, never. No, I know a lot of people cried during Lion King when was it Mufasa when he died? Yeah, no, the kids. No, it was a cartoon. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry not that sensitive oh, oh damn I, what movie was it i watched uh fuck, what was that okay uh the, naruto related what about Jiraiya, no i, I never did. No, dead. No, 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 dead no 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 okay no, okay no, no, no. yeah same here no it's just a show yeah it was an emotional moment but yeah, i wasn't like oh i was i was watching the the was it whatever what's the demon slayer movie what train uh so, M- mugen train M- mugen train what yeah. was the english name for that midnight train i think uh, whatever the shit and then I just remember the theater only had like 20 some people. Okay. Because it was like a mid pandemic, I think, was uh-huh. when it was airing, right? Yeah. And like, I just like when, when the, spoiler alert, when one of the characters die, right? You just hear like sniffling. Like the, people the, are just the, like. The stab through the chest? Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> no, at the end when, when he's like having, saying his goodbyes and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And you just hear like people crying and shit. <laughs> and I, oh. I feel like an asshole. I was just like laughing. I was like, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I so, guess if you're like that connected to, it's kind of like they're celebrities, right? You know, it is, yeah, so it like, is, because again, uh, these weaves like feel very connected yeah. to these characters, which is, and which they're is fine. so which so is invested fine. to just, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah did, I you, just, did you feel sad when Jeffrey Epstein died? No, no. I just, I, I just thought it was like, <laughs> like, 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 like we like, talked about yeah. it, dude. I, I, th- I think it was a cover up. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, he didn't kill himself. Jeff Epstein didn't kill himself. Yeah. Well, oh, how'd you take the news when Stephen Hawking was on the list? <laughs> Uh, so today, as of when we're filming this, <laughs> yeah. they released the Jeffrey Epstein Island list. Is it the 400 name? 400, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. 900 <laughs> guy, pages, though. Our guy Stephen Hawkins on that list. Like, apparently, he frequented that oh, island. Oh, man. Which is crazy. That is wild. Cause I I don't know. Like, Did he just watch? <laughs> oh, you think he popped the wheelie when he was getting dumb? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> That's... Uh, I don't know, man. You think he moaned about... Typed the moan? <laughs> Like like in Family Guy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> all right, all right. We're, that's, we're, we're, that's too dark. All right, let's, let's, all right. <laughs> moving on. That's too dark. Moving on. Well, okay, we're gonna let's move on to the next big one. Fear. That means the island yep. was uh, wheelchair accessible. <laughs> <I'm> ADA. <sorry. laughs> ADA. They got ramps and shit. <laughs> Last comment. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god, dude! It wasn't just like some stairs. <laughs> no, or no, no, no. Okay. Oh, or- fear. You you express that a lot because you always say you're a weenie when it comes to anything scary. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do scary movies, dude. I got scarred by the ring and the grudge as a child. So that's that's what something you have trouble containing then, right? Because you get you just won't even acknowledge it. No, I acknowledge it. Like but no, I mean, you won't even expose yourself to situations where you no, might be no, scared. No, 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 no. What is it about those movies that? that you hate is it like the, after watching it See, it's, it's not the jump scares this right? is oh it's the jump it's scares, a, okay <laughs> it's this is my equivalent of a emotional moment at pixar but scary <laughs> it's just like i i'm so invested in the movie yeah that i'm just scared as shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i've been on dates where i hide behind the girl <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even joking <laughs> So it's the so it's like the like the sh- like that feeling you get when the yeah. jump scare happens. Yeah, a right? lot of people tell me that with scary movies, they they like the feeling of fear. It's, yeah, I do it's, not. No, no. no. What it's about a, like af- afterwards? Do you like after the movie? Do you do you like keep running scenarios in your head? Like no, man. I was gonna say that it's all in, in the moment, and oh, then when okay. I think about it retrospectively, like, I just it's dumb. This is what I hate. I think about it and I go. That movie was okay, uh, <laughs> but I'm see. still scared. Uh, <laughs> it's just only when something God, freaky God, happens. God. Anything supernatural, that's what scares me the most. Gotcha. Yeah, so slasher you, movies are fine. Nah, yeah, those are those are. Yeah, pretty su- mild. supernatural stuff. Ooh. Like if you watch, like you ever, you probably didn't. Uh, what's that one? Not Blair Witch. The paranormal, I watched Blair Witch. Par- paranormal activities. I, I watched Paranormal first, uh, one? first one and third. First one was San Diego, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, so after you watched those movies and you went back home and then you just I was like fine. shit you you were fine, right? You don't fine. like overthink afterwards. Yeah. As a kid though, I was yeah. Mm, fully you're like, under the blankets, <laughs> like, dude, this is not happening. Yeah. Like washing your face in the shower, you're like <laughs> No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Or on yeah. the sink. I wash my face in the yeah. sink. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not willing to overcome that fear. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, which is fine. Like yeah. people like you know, I don't like the feel feeling of that G force during roller coasters. Oh, the stomach feeling. Yeah, it just I I hate it. This is gonna sound weird. I think when if you brace your core before it happens, <laughs> it helps. No, I swear, oh, does it? it helps a lot. Oh, yeah. I, I learned that I learned that the last time I went to Magic Mountain. Yeah, it's more like the helplessness of, uh, you know, you're just kind of mm, being okay. dragged. Yeah, you feel like your entire being is being pulled okay. apart. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that feeling. But but I, roller coasters in general, you're fine. Or just no, I hate. I I could go on it. It's not like okay. I refuse because I always get peer pressure to go on it. But yeah. I don't enjoy it. Right oh, when okay. I'm on it, I'm like I fucking hate this. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one minute, whatever. It's I'm also susceptible to motion sickness. So like, uh, if you constantly go on rides, then I start feeling all woozy. Oh, I see. So you don't fuck with roller coasters that much? I think it's cool, but if I, if I start feeling woozy, I just need some time to breathe, you know, and then I'll be I'll be chill. Okay, yeah. so you wouldn't go skydiving then? Oh hell no! I want to go no. skydiving. It's not it's not even the G force for that. It's just I don't trust my life in someone, someone else's, else's hand. But you have to think of this too. If you're tandem with someone, that person also doesn't want to die, right? But like you know, it, in terms of like equipment failure and stuff like that, there's why, three parachutes. Yeah, but like why even why even have that zero point whatever to the tenth degree chance of dying <laughs> when I don't have to? Right? Uh, yes. <laughs> for the thrill, like the the reward isn't there for me. I'm not a big oh, thrill seeker. Okay. Yeah. What about you and like your fears? Do you have trouble? expressing your fears or are you i used to get hella scared of those scary movies because i overthink mm-hmm. so then i start playing scenarios in my head over and over again right but as i started seeing more and more weird shit in real life right <laughs> i'm really dull to that kind of shit okay now. so like seeing shadowy figures i know that was scary yeah <laughs> just like it's just life at this point what about spiders spiders i don't like just because the way they look they're icky yeah they're icky oh. i would kill them okay yeah like that's just like i'll, I'll just automatically like smash it so okay like, anytime i see one here i just automatically just okay dumbbell straight to the but is there like a, a, a sense of fear like what if you wake up and there's a spider uh it happened actually. when i was showering there's like a pretty sizable one that dropped on me oh yeah when i was showering What'd yeah you do? i you just, just killed like, it sh- smacked it and then just washed it off. oh dude no i was i was because i have a I have a pretty small shower. Okay. It's like a bathtub kind of shower, right? Yeah. So, like, I just turned around to the wall side and I body slammed my back hella hard. <laughs> I almost gave myself a fucking concussion. And then I Why was would you it. do that? Because it fell on my... Tr- I can't reach back there easily. Oh. So, I just went like... It's for sh- it was for sure a spider, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay, okay. I felt it. Like, okay, okay. I know. I'm hyper aware of okay. how things feel like. And then I, okay. I saw... I went on the wall. I saw three legs and I'm like, let's go. <laughs> What the hell, dude? <laughs> Why not just let the water wash the spider down? No, I won't wait for that. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, dude? No, oh, it my God. needs to die right now. <laughs> I guess so. All right. So we just talked about a lot of the vulnerabilities, mm-hmm. right? So like I said, they, there's a there's a big stigma on men talking about this kind of stuff right right we're, we're doing an episode on this mm-hmm. that's why we're talking about it yeah but like in real life we wouldn't really go around or would you really go around telling people like oh like i'm, I'm scared of this like you know yeah i do that you would yeah i'm just like i'm trying this, to avoid kind of- watching scary movies <laughs> 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 no but i like talk about your sadness and stuff like that right? like you just oh did. like if, if someone brought it up in conversation and you were sober right would you contribute to it like you did just now or would you just be like, okay, cool. I want to hear more of what you have to say, but I don't want to really want to add in my piece to it. I would. You would? I would. Like, let's say, for example, if for some reason I'm around people and I'm not in the best mood, uh, one, I would try to uplift myself before, like, linking up. But if something, like, you know, goes right or I'm just not feeling, then I will I would tell them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I wouldn't go into this whole sob story right because right? i don't i just don't want the spotlight on me the whole yeah time. so yeah. so so you do have a little bit of like you don't really want to share over share right yeah it's yeah. not like you're in like an alcoholic anonymous thing where you're like oh your turn that kind yeah, of stuff yeah. you're just like pass <laughs> yeah yeah i'll just make it quick and brief yeah exactly oh, yeah. it's like hey i'm like yeah good. What, annoyed or something <laughs> yeah. I'm annoyed. or something yeah okay yeah so but no I, I don't have any issues exuding any of my feelings or whatever i'm thinking but not in depth though. You just want to glaze over it a little bit. If they want yeah. me to go in depth, I'll go in depth. Yeah. It's fine. I just, you know, I that's my initial, I guess, response to it. It's just like I'll just make it quick mm-hmm. 
and then just that's the, it. Give just, them the cliff notes. Yeah, version, just give right? them the log line. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, but for like for girls, they they don't have that, right? They just go into like yeah. flashback mode or like yeah, in the story mode. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's I think that's where especially it if they want to talk about it. But yeah. yeah. So that's why I think it differs when they're like you guys should be more vulnerable. Like for you, uh-huh. it's just like one line is enough, enough, right? Yeah, you don't have to really elaborate on. Like a bunch of shit. That's a whole like relationship type type thing. You know when uh, I heard this from some girls. Like I don't know if you ever had experience. Like do uh, does your fiance get pissed when uh, if if she asks like oh how is this and you're you're like it's cool. No, no, like, you, you were there like that oh, during okay, our yeah. trip. I said that shit all the time. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's fine. I know some yeah. girls who like yeah, don't. Li- yeah, yeah. yeah, they're like it's cool. Like, but what? but it's like, different when the girl is, says it. What does though, it mean? Right? Yeah. Because if you ask the girl like. Well, and she says fine then they're angry yeah like, but when the guy the says thing. it yeah but the guy says it, it's just like that's just exactly yeah. how i feel about it <laughs> let me let me just say this to all, all anyone dating a guy in the world and i, I told this to my cousin because uh she had problems with her boyfriend like years ago so let me just say this no matter how intelligent a guy is our thought process is very linear so if you say something we're gonna think that exact same way so yep. if you say you're fine or you say go ahead or whatever take it literally like we're gonna be like okay cool right, cool. Yeah, right? We're, like we cannot solve the puzzle of the the female line right i feel like we know what the girl says fine right it's they're not, mad like, well, but it's just like the well, effort. how the, how they say yeah. it yeah yeah it's just like the effort of going through it i feel like it's not worth it sometimes yeah. it's just like well i'll let you guys steam off and then <laughs> yeah fucking explain it to me afterwards i'm not right. gonna pay detective or 20 questions on, right exactly <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> or like or i expected yeah. you to respond this yeah. way i'm like what <laughs> yeah or it's like kind of like the girls doing the shit test you know like when they're like oh the guys don't care about me or they do like a fake breakup yeah and all that shit and yeah. you're like all right <laughs> Like, so the real it? question yeah. is how come you can't just exude your feelings off the bat if you're yeah. really bothered by something talk to your guy like you talk to your girls <laughs> yeah, yeah and then there'll be a lot less communication yeah. problems as guys we can handle the smoke just yeah. just let it out it's like there's way too much to worry about <laughs> than yeah. to play these mind games yeah exactly okay what about what about this have you ever felt like you needed help with dealing with your emotions like not not mm. therapy, right? Obviously, therapy is one way, but right. just like vent it out with someone, like a friend or something like that, where you feel like, oh, I have to get this off my chest. Yeah, yeah, it was that thing <laughs> <laughs> that I can't talk okay. about yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, other, I feel than, like I'm waiting that, for the right episode. To yeah, talk yeah, about no. But yet. other than that, like, so you you had you do you do like feel like sometimes you you need a release, right? Uh, a back, guy, back, then back then, when I was going through it and I couldn't tell anyone, and then I remember. I called my cousin and I wanted to tell her, but then I think the conversation was just going a little too happy that Uh-oh. I couldn't just shift the direction. Uh-oh. That's how I felt. Yeah. God, God. But then once I overcame that issue, I started slowly telling uh, people in my like close friend group that I felt very comfortable with sharing. And then I just told them. Right. So, yeah. So still to this day, like only a very, very small (laughs) amount of people know about this. So that's it. And again, if you (laughs) have been listening or watching from episode 27, I did not get molested. (laughs) I don't know why you gave that as an example, bro. That (laughs) that is the worst example. That did not happen to me. Brutally molested. (laughs) No, no. All All I'm saying is that, yeah, something happened to me. That was like, I guess, a low point in my life that... I'm not willing to openly talk about, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. Once you're, you're getting there, you're once, processing it. No, I can talk about it. I want to talk about it on this podcast. It's just I want to find the right episode to talk about you, it. it. Yeah, it's, it's it's not something you just drop. Yeah, right? exactly. You, you know, you need to. Yeah, you know, although you know, our barber requests it very often, but I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I'll, he doesn't know, right? Huh? He doesn't know. He's it's no, just no, for him. It's just about know. other. Okay, yeah, it. yeah, a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, he doesn't. He never know. therapy, right? No, no, I considered it. Yeah, yeah. What what made you? Was it the same situation, um, or was it a different thing? No, I think. Let's see. Was it twenty twenty one? Like for some reason, I think because I was uh like pandemic was slowly, uh, whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, becoming not over or Cab- becoming over. Were yeah. You getting cabin fever from being stuck inside. No, your no. Um, it was more of now that uh pandemic is lightening up. Uh, I have to rebuild my my business and my career, mm-hmm. right? So, like, it was the stresses of are people willing to come in to train? Uh, am I able to get film jobs? Mm-hmm. So it's like that. So 
sporadically i would get like panic attacks just out of nowhere like i would just feel like but it wouldn't be like for a whole day it'd be whatever for an hour but i think it's because i'm it's just i'm silent in my own room Mm -hmm. so i'm just in my head yeah so that's why i'm just like oh shit so that's why i consider getting a therapist just to talk about like these issues or why am i having these panic attacks but uh, a lot of times for me the reason why um i'm very i guess happy or not sad all the time is because i know i understand how to deal with stress better Mm -hmm. like i'm just able to look at myself uh through a third person point of view where like i don't i don't let it uh like sit in my head for too long right so i think that's why so i'm able to rationalize myself very very well and be like oh you know it's just you know it's just emotion you know it's it's all good you know so you process it and you're like i don't want to pay anyone for this i could do it myself (laughs) yeah okay yeah (laughs) what about you have you ever considered or gone through therapy Mm -hmm. i know a lot of people that want to no no i know especially once uh uh, what's that one better help it's like one that's of those the app one. one right yeah well it's still a therapist on the other side but it's like it became more of like you could just book a it's kind of like an uber well, not oh not Uber, right? yeah okay. you just like you know you just go on the app and then you request for someone and then they'll join mm-hmm. you virtually right you know versus like going into someone's office oh. it's a lot more daunting does can you also go through your insurance through better help too do you know? Uh, I don't know. I'm not okay. sure. But I'm sure they have some kind of... You have PPO, like, you know. You, yeah, you, yeah. you know, we have one of the plans. I'm sure they'll cover yeah, yeah. some of it. Oh, okay, okay. But, uh, I do know people that went through a lot of that during pandemic. Because yeah. they felt like they were trapped in their house. Oh, like, just losing their minds. They were, like, losing their fucking minds. That was me the first yeah. two months of pandemic. I, like, I'm not good at uh, staying still. Yeah. So I was losing my shit. I was chilling, man. I was just building Gundams. I was like... I was like <laughs> and then no. month three, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I started doing Postmates. Postmates, yeah. Yeah. yeah that was good money. Yeah. Dude, it was hella good. It gave a lot of bonuses during that time too, right? Yeah, a yeah. lot of bonuses and uh, a lot of tips. And then, you know, I live in Pasadena, which is a fairly affluent city. Mm-hmm. Tips are nice. <laughs> so, that's good. Shout out to the sugar fish on Lake. That was the best one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... But you never seeked out. You never seeked out there. Nah. You never it, felt... You know what's interesting though? I think I was reading a thing the other day. The number one reason why men... Mm-hmm. seek out a therapist is loneliness oh right it's just like it's it's like i f- they i feel like men could deal with everything yeah. else but solitude can you deal with solitude i like being alone like for a Extent- long period yeah i do like- i could like be not in the mountains right but i could like be in my room for like weeks without so you could be a hikikomori yeah yeah so I, a I hikikomori just- is someone uh who just doesn't leave the room. They get everything like mailed to them. They yeah. do the work at home. They just stay out. So you can. If I have a home gym, I'd be chilling. Like really? I, yeah, I don't like you know. I don't really like social interaction yeah. unless I have to. This is what I I think about sometimes. This is why I feel like I'm not in a rush to get into a relationship. It's because one, I have no issues being alone too. But then I don't want to be alone for too long. Like you know, I do value hanging out with friends. And everything but for you it's an option right it's just it's a choice right so it's right. kind of selfish for me, for me to say that because i choose solitude right yeah for my own peace but uh i think for people who seek help they don't have a choice they don't have anyone oh right? so okay so like you, you know you see a lot of memes right a lot of, they're like mm-hmm. oh what's the mi- what's the cure the male loneliness like thugging that shit out or something like that. So, and it's uh, funny right but it's yeah. like a lot of you see the amount of likes that's on the it. whole like, yeah, masculinity like a, so like type. a lot of people are dealing with like and I guess involuntary loneliness, right? right. Where they okay, really okay. have no one, right? They're right. Just like okay. talking shit on IG, that's their community, but like right. they don't have anyone in real life. Well, uh, at least for me, I'm fortunate enough to have like friends I can hang like out with. Like a support circle, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. when you're like, oh, I want to be alone, it's just more like, I, I want my own time, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, there are a lot of people out there that I know a couple of them personally where they don't have anyone in real life. They have online uh, friends, but right. they don't have people oh. that are like, oh, I'm going to hit up whatever to go get sushi or whatever there will be no one on that list that's very right? true that's very true okay. and then for them dealing with that is like especially as a guy that you know going into like you know our age group into the 30s right right uh the thought of like am i gonna die alone right that comes Ooh. up a lot right because you're like well i haven't found a mate yet i'm in my 30s right yeah. and i never you know because like you know you dated before you know you have mm-hmm. a password but like there are guys out there who never they're yeah. like literally hugless kissless virgins right yeah not saying that that's an achievement like having sex but like they never had that interaction yeah and they're like well 
I don't think I'll ever get it at this point. Right. right. They so. think it's almost over. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, a few yeah. people like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too late, man. It's, yeah. It's never too late. Yeah. Go to like, Hong Kong. Not in that <laughs> way, but you know. Well, I think we talked about this. Like your oh. first time paying for it. You I've know, never paid for it. I know, but like you know, a lot of people's advice is like we just talked about it on episode one. Like you yeah. should just pay for it. Get get like the fucking your uh, first time. Yeah, get the your jimmies out. Of there. Yeah, <laughs> right. Which no is fine. Ju- no whatever. judgment. No yeah. judgment Do there. You? But yeah, a lot of people are like just hella lonely, and yeah. like I, you know, I, I run into that too. Like some sometimes when I go to, not anymore, but like when I used to go to parties and stuff, mm-hmm. and then like dude would just like they get drunk and they just like pour they just trauma dump on you oh and no they're sad drunk yeah and oh. i'm just like i'm just gonna keep taking shots until this goes away i know <laughs> like, I one know. person yeah. who fully trauma dumped yeah when he and, got drunk and then uh, how'd you deal with it what's up little bro <laughs> 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 i was just there for them i just yeah. i no, it's, i'm yeah. a very I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't contain like so much of your emotions, like negative emotions in your body. It's always good to release it. And if you're not comfortable with sharing it to someone, which again, it's okay. You know, it's a a building process. I always say, just write it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's way better. Journaling. You do that, right? Sometimes. Sometimes sometimes if like, yeah, my thoughts get overwhelming. I don't necessarily journal. I'll just write it down. Mm. Right. Because it's better to have something there and it's, it's not lingering in your head. Yeah. Yeah, for for my brother, yeah, uh, I just let him just let it out. Mm. Yeah, like dude, just just let it out. Just <laughs> yeah, this is a crazy thing though. He doesn't remember. Really? Damn, it's just out. damn, it's just that side of him. <laughs> Blacked out. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> when he when he when I feel like he's in a better mental space, if you're watching this, which I don't know, like you're so busy with your job, uh, <laughs> we'll 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 talk about it. Uh, okay. You know? Yeah. It's like you see it as like a cry for help kind of a little little bit bit, yeah a little bit and then like some weird early 20s typical existential crisis Mm, you know yeah we've all gone through that you know where you you are 22 23 and you feel like your life is over yeah (laughs) yeah well you have the rest of your life right 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 what i there was like a thing i read the other day i forgot who it was for it was like a comedian where he's he explains uh, taking ecstasy for the first time I think it was okay. Andrew Schultz on like a Jordan Peterson podcast. Okay. And he's like, he's normally not a very like, you know, he's a comedian, right? But mm-hmm. he doesn't really share his emotions that much. Okay. But when he was taking ecstasy, he mm-hmm. had like a, he felt like he had unlimited like happiness, right? Yeah. And like he. Isn't he, that what it's for, right? Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. Well, uh, for <laughs> for most people, I guess. But it, it, I think it exemplifies the state you're in, right? Oh, so like okay. I never recommend people that are going through a breakup to just roll like crazy. Oh, because it'll just make it worse. Oh, dude, you're gonna make it ten times worse. Oh. Right? You, you might get a little bit of elevation. Yeah. In terms of your mood, but the crash is gonna be miserable. Oh, it's gonna be okay. especially if you go to a rave and you hear some oh. sad boy pro shit. Tip, pro <laughs> tip. Pro tip. Yeah. Don't 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 roll when you're uh, going through a breakup. Okay. Unless you're a girl. I always I always say that when, when it comes system. to uh, shrooms too, yeah. like or if, just any kind of. You know, psychedelic or any kind of any kind of altering drugs or supplements. Yeah, just be in a good headspace. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, but like for for him, he was like, I just he just kept like telling people, oh, how much I love you, like, and it happens a lot. Like it, Mm -hmm. you know, when I go to festivals, like people are just like people that normally don't talk. They're like, oh man, I love you, bro, and they want group hugs and shit, which I hate, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I don't like being touched, man. (laughs) Like, but whatever. Um, yeah, so like. There, he's like, oh, I had this overflowing of emotion. Oh. I felt like I, I was a bottomless tank of happiness. So I just wanted to give it away. Mm-hmm. But in normal life, he's like, I don't have that. So I, I just try to like hold on to every little thing I get in terms of happiness. So he doesn't share good news. He doesn't like tell anyone anything because he's okay. like, I don't want to give away my joy. But like he's like, but what if because I because he feels like if he gives it away that he yeah, yeah like he, he won't, won't have, have any joy. exactly yeah. Really? But he's just like, but if I had that unlimited amount all the time, I would be a right. much nicer person. I would just want to give right, you know, my happiness yeah. away all the time. But if you but, think about, it, let's say for example, like you give someone a gift that you know they'll like, yeah, but you'll get joy out of it. You're giving like joy to them while receiving it, right? Yeah, so but it's kind it, of the same thing. Yeah, oh, well, kind of. It's. I think it's for people who have trouble sharing their emotions, right? Oh, okay. Once you share it, it's like it's, it's gone, right? Yeah, oh, it's out okay. there, right? Because like you know, just going up to I don't know, like the, like telling your homies like you love them <laughs> shit all the time is kind of weird. Unless you're turned, 
Yeah, exactly. It happens happen all the time. The when only we're church. time. But if you're sober and shit, you're just yeah. like, you know, like it's or like, you know, people. I say that to one of my best friends, though. Yeah. But, but like, we, you know, like have history, like you don't daily text your friends daily. But hey, what's up, bro? I miss you. Like shit like that. Right. Like, no. Yeah. Because I, I don't do that in general. Yeah. Which I also feel bad. Uh, this goes with um, being selfish with my time. Yeah. Something we talked about episode twenty-seven, where I feel like I also need to initiate. You know how they say like friendship is a two-way street. It is. So, yeah. yeah, I feel like I need to also hit them up and be like, "Hey, you know, do you want to have lunch and stuff?" And do you feel I, like it's very lopsided the amount you get versus the amount you give in terms? Yes. Of, oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially, I feel like this sometimes. I feel like a, a black sheep because i don't like edm and i don't go to festivals yeah where i feel i feel like yeah i'm not participating in these where i can also kind of spend time with my friends because they're all collectively there one interest they have one interest and you're like the guy who's like i don't really yeah fuck with this i'm right not here. into that i'm not into gaming which a lot of my friends are into so gaming. in order for you to hang out you guys have to kind of invent a thing to do that and it's usually mm, just eating out yeah, yeah so okay. i always feel like i f- i feel bad mm. i feel bad that i'm just always saying no mm. or i'm just not down yeah. for them to just hit me up yeah i try <laughs> i try to like it <laughs> i don't it's not, yeah it's not it's hard <laughs> it is stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah but in in general like no there are some people that i haven't seen in super long yeah. that i still value their friendship right but I just feel bad that I haven't communicated. Like, hey, let you know how's it going. Uh, let's catch up or whatever. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it is a two way thing. Yeah. Right? Where you just, I I think we talked about it before. Like, friendship, it's mm-hmm. it can like it's like watering your lawn. Yeah. It's a it's a lifelong maintenance. Right. It's not just like you're my friend. All right, I'm gonna ignore you for a couple months and yeah. not fuck with you. You always be there. Like, I feel like you. you I feel like have, that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like <laughs> you're 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 my friend now. I'm just not gonna talk to you. Yeah. There are some friends where I think about, I was like, dang, I only saw you once in 2023, mm. which is wild. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think like, you know, chill handful amount of time. That's cool. Yeah. But for people that I do consider close, I just feel bad that, yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not giving the effort as right. much as they are giving. Yeah. Yeah. Or that they'll hit me up like, hey, like, are you free? Like, I need to, I do need to make that effort. Mm. You know, I have less weddings this <laughs> year, so I will try <laughs> to make more of an effort. Hey, one of y'all like coerced me to go to your bachelor's, so there you you're go. welcome. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying. I'm trying. There better be hip hop there. <laughs> oh, reggaeton. I'm I'm fully reggaeton. Cool. I'm fully what cool with that. Fuck? I'm hella cool with that oh for God. sure. Your boy can move his hips, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any uh, other um, emotion or whatever, or anything feelings that we need to discuss? No, I feel like just like the two big ones that people usually. Mm-hmm have trouble like getting out there is like their sadness like their yeah depression right for lack of a better word and right. like, just sharing their joys yeah that was one that uh yeah that i never told anyone and i was in a relationship at yeah. this time like i i went through like a deep depression yeah. like when i was 20 yeah. just didn't tell anyone and it just felt like very consuming of uh, like my life do you feel like you'd be judged if you told someone at the time or like oh for you yeah. right because like for me personally i feel like i'm the only one who can fix this that's how i that's how so i why feel. would i tell a stranger and then you know get some unsolicited advice yeah so. and if you're someone who's in your head you think of all these different outcomes t- contingencies do you feel this way do you feel like if you shared uh if you like vented to anyone or consult with anyone uh you don't because you've thought of the answer that they'll yeah, probably give. Yeah, yeah. I think about that yeah, all the just time. Like, it's not really helpful to my situation. Yeah. I'm like, you're the only one. I was like, you know, I'm the only one who could get me out of this situation. Right. And if I tell people, they're going to give me advice yeah. and then I'm going to have to correct them. Like, no, 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 yeah. it's not like that. Or <laughs> it's advice that you've thought of already. Uh, yeah. You already know. Yeah. Like, you know what to do. It's just like, you're just processing things. But you ever thought about like, maybe you just need to hear it from someone else. Not really. I don't value. Oh. I don't value other people's opinions. <laughs> oh, never mind. I know for girls, they they tell you shit and yeah. they don't want the solution. Yeah, a lot of times it's They're very just like it's very it. yeah. yeah, it's very like surface level answers that you know I don't need to hear. Like yeah. I'm just waiting for the right answer because yeah. I'm not trying to hear like your day is gonna get better or um 
I don't know. It's like something like that. It's it's always tough, especially when someone has a passing. Yeah. Right. And then you don't know what to say. And then right. you go with my the, condolences. My condol- Yeah. But it's just like, sorry for your loss. Right. And it's right. just like, does it really help people? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it, it feels more like a customary thing to say rather right. than like something that. But I think is it's helpful. It's the gesture. Oh, no, no, it- not, not, not that. Sorry. Like thoughts and prayers. <laughs> I feel like that. It's like sending my thoughts and prayers to you. Right. I always say my condolences. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people say that, right? And then I'm just like, does that really help? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. I wouldn't personally feel that way, so I don't do it. But okay. Yeah. But do you give your condolences though? At least I say sorry for your loss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's true, right? I'm sorry for your loss. I'm I'm not sorry myself. I don't know that the motherfucker mm-hmm. would die. Right? Yeah. So I'm just like I'm. I mean, yeah. It's more, it's more empathetic coming right. from a place of empathy. Like that's true. I'm still burning your session, but I'm <laughs> sorry for your loss. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Do we need to open up more? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Well, you know what? This is our first episode about feelings. So, if you're watching, if you're listening, if you want us to discuss this more or about literally any single topic, let us know. Or, you know what? Let's open up the form for our 600 something subscribers. They're it's, not going to comment on this video. Or maybe you we will. We have a may, couple. We have a couple. The guy was I'm like, oh, d- good episode. How tall are you guys? I was like, that's kind of out now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess. But yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't be too. Uh, yeah. You know what? It. Like, because cause you're anonymous on, on YouTube, right? Yeah. Go, go, um, go type your story. What did right. you want to share? There you go. Right. Let that be your. Let us. No, I'm, I'm not going to be your therapist, but. <laughs> Let, let it out he, he is a therapist though oh, not that guy <laughs> <laughs> not that guy yeah. he can yeah. be yeah let it out man just type type what you know what you wanted to share what's bothering you no that's true Put it in the comments and then yeah you know Th- that's true yeah, yeah let that be your release we'll probably read it because we get emails but do we get emails we do yeah, every time, every time someone comments, we get emails. Oh, I don't count that. You don't, because I, I just go on the. Oh, you mean like on some fucking like stand shit where you're just like, no, <laughs> they no, no, write no, no, fan I, mail and shit. No, we don't get that. Yeah, I thought, yeah. It was, I thought it was like, I thought it was like that. No, so yeah. if we get a comment on YouTube, like I just, I'm on YouTube already. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it. Yeah, yeah. So there's that. Yeah, well, yeah. If you, yeah, share your story. Yeah, and we'll, we'll just say that. I think Spotify has a comment section too. I, I just don't know how to navigate it unfortunately Neither. yeah yeah so, we're not that sad yeah, we're, we're not yeah. really focusing on spotify yeah. but we hope you enjoyed this episode <laughs> yeah. this is episode 28 and if you made it to the end hey we like to thank y'all yeah. all right so again you know comment below on this youtube video or you know you can hit us up you know follow us on our instagrams mine yeah. is sid the chad kelvin is dr six Pac. if you're having it if you're having like life problems man just dm sid his account <laughs> he'll talk it through you <laughs> You know, I'm yeah, down. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hit me up yeah. if you need to vent. I'm actually a very good listener. Yeah, man. Yeah. My homies out there, they know. Yeah. I'm, I'm really good at it. So I'm good at giving, <laughs> giving y'all advice. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like as a, as a lasting statement, like how do you feel <laughs> with this episode? I feel tired. <laughs> We've been here all day. Like that's not an emotion, right? I feel uh, relieved because people have been asking for this kind of shit. Yeah. So I guess here you go. Yeah, we could always talk about feelings more yeah. if you guys want us to, or whatever else. There you go. New episodes every Wednesday. A topic. <laughs> yeah, tell us a topic. Please. Most of the time, it's off the dome. <laughs> we're just like we just figured yeah, out whatever. But hey, we're the last ones here. We gotta <laughs> close. We gotta up. get out. There you go. 10 p.m. All right. We out.